Next week, the annual UN General Assembly will once again touch on the world's most pressing problems from war to poverty. But even some delegates from fairly poor countries will be living it up in New York City. CCTV's Leland Tan has more. Just 20 feet across the United Nations, one UN affords high-level diplomats a New York brand of luxury just a stone's throw away from work and play. It's part of the former Millennium UN Plaza, fresh from a revamp in time for the General Assembly, its most profitable time of year. We have 439 rooms. They are all uh, fully committed for foreign de uh, delegations during this time. A away Turkish restaurant, Alibaba, is a popular dining choice for visiting dignitaries for both dining in and taking out. For these few weeks every year, business doubles. This is a really good location because really in the corner, it's really close to UN, and uh, nobody has a uh, roof like this terrace. And then there's the shopping. Lots and lots of it. The General Assembly is good business for New York City, but critics say it can also be distracting for delegates. Ami Horowitz is a UN critic and filmmaker. A lot of these countries, these are poor countries, most of these people are barely scraping by to survive. Yet I'd be pretty galled if I were them and I saw their diplomats tooling around in a $100,000 Mercedes, you know, going shopping at Louis Vuitton, you know, and spending, you know, $1,000 a night at the, uh, at the hotel bar at the Four Seasons. The poorest member states in the UN include countries where the majority of citizens live on around the equivalent of one to two US dollars a day. For example, Turkey, which had a GDP per capita of about 17,000 US dollars last year, booked its delegation at a hotel where prices run from $1,000 a night to about $30,000 for a presidential suite. For an international agency tasked with addressing global issues such as poverty, the contrast highlights the question of whether it's necessary to conduct the General Assembly in one of the world's most expensive cities and if it's in the best interest of the United Nations and its member states. Li Ling Tan, CCTV, United Nations in New York.